Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my third trimester. I am sick, my boobs are leaking, I fell down, and I broke my bra. Stay tuned for all of this. Okay, so pardon all of this going on, um, but it has been a week, and for the first time in a long time, I actually have an exciting pregnancy update for y'all. So I'm just gonna fill you in on what's been going on. First things first, I've been working like a crazy woman, and part of that is showing a lot of houses, and I was showing some older homes that had some mold issues this week. Okay, so first of all, Let's start with how my week started on Wednesday. I'm gonna insert some clips here of me vlogging. Good morning, YouTube. So, this has been a week, a crazy week. I had an allergy attack. And as many of you know, I started a new career as a realtor. So I have been showing houses and some of these basements have been not the greatest. And now I think I might be getting bronchitis. So I called the nurse's line this morning and they said to call my doctor at 830. It's 840 right now. And if I can't get in within the next four hours to the doctor, I have to go to the emergency room. So I thought I would uh, fill you all in so you can see this on the pregnancy update. I also fell yesterday and I think I'm fine, but I figure if I have to go in, I'll have them check on that too. So I'm about to call my doctor and then I'll come back and tell you what they say. Okay, talk to my doctor. They can't get me in today. They said go to urgent care though and not the ER, which is great because the copay is so much less for urgent care. So I am in the parking lot. I'm going to go into urgent care. Hopefully they can help me. If they have to do a chest x-ray, then I have to go to the ER, but I don't think they'll have to. So we're going to go in here and see what they say and then hopefully go home and go to bed. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it was not the best day. I did end up at urgent care um, and got four different prescriptions, including an antibiotic, an inhaler, and a steroid. So I am well medicated right now. Um, feeling better today, but still not great. Um, and it's been weird being this sick and pregnant and just having to think about like my oxygen levels and all of that. So we had a doctor's appointment yesterday, um, a 28 week appointment and we did an ultrasound. I'm going to insert the clip of the ultrasound here and then I'll come back and tell you about that. Still have their head up. Well, actually, last ultrasound, he was down. Was he? Yeah. Oop. There's his head. Little nose. Little nose. It's getting bigger. The first time we saw him, he was about the size of a lima bean. Now it's like he's getting a little bit bigger. Okay, so we did the ultrasound, and first of all, just a weird ultrasound experience. The technician was not very nice. Usually we have really great experiences. Um, we've only had three ultrasounds now to date, but in the past, um, the technician would like, because like he was sleeping a lot in this ultrasound, which is fine, um, but usually they'll try and like get them to move a little bit so they can get a good picture for you or, you know, just like get them to move so that you can see movement. And this technician was just not very nice at all. She was very short with us. Um, when I asked questions, she was short to answer if she answered at all. And she got some pictures, but he was sleeping and it was just in the back of his head, which is fine. I've had ultrasounds before. I've gotten to see him. But, I mean, she just did not seem like she liked her job that day. So, I'm hoping she was just having an off day and maybe we just got her on, like, a bad day or after a bad appointment. But it was not as exciting as I thought it would be. I was so excited about seeing him and showing him to you guys. So, you can see him a little bit, but it's not as good as previous ultrasounds. Um, at that appointment, I was supposed to have labs taken 
and I opted to go back in a couple weeks and have labs taken because I just am not feeling good and the steroid I'm on has me like off the wall wired crazy. So um, I go back in two weeks for those labs. Like I think it's mostly just testing my iron levels. Um, so that is what was going on this week. I also <laughs> was showing a house to the same people that I showed some of the houses that were a little moldy to and um, I fell down on my butt in front of clients, slow motion, rolled back, feet in the air, everything. It was so, so embarrassing. I like stepped on an uneven part of concrete and um, tried to like correct because it felt like I was gonna fall forward and I overcorrected and you know, your center of gravity is just so off when you're pregnant and I fell flat backwards. Thankfully, no issues. I stayed up a couple hours that night to make sure there wasn't any cramping that I would miss, um, but he's fine. I'm fine. I don't even have a bruise on my butt. So um, thank the Lord for the cushion. But uh, it was embarrassing. And now I'm like holding on to everything when I walk because my center of gravity is off enough that I just, I mean, I fell flat on my butt. It was so embarrassing. Um, so I'm going to go through the questions and I'll fill you guys in on some of the other weird stuff. That has been going on the past two weeks of my pregnancy because they have been a doozy. <laughs> okay, let's go through our list. How far along? I'm 28 weeks today. When you're watching it, I'll be 28 weeks and one day. So the very beginning of the third trimester. It's like so, so real now. How big is a peanut at the ultrasound yesterday? They estimated him at two pounds, 13 ounces, and he is in the 67th percentile. My chances for a VBAC still look pretty good, so I'm really excited about that. Um, they're just going to measure him again at like 34 weeks and check everything at that point. He was breached still at this ultrasound, but that's not really of any concern of anything except for the fact that he's kicking me so hard in the bladder that it hurts. So I wish his feet were going in a different direction. <laughs> Total weight gain or loss, this I don't know. Um, because I'm on prednisone and I've been sick, I felt a ton of bloating. So yesterday at the doctor appointment, I told him not to tell me my weight because I know that the medications I'm on can cause a lot of water retention and bloat. And so I don't have this for you guys this week, um, but once I'm off the medication and healed up and back to my normal routine, I'll make sure to keep you posted. Maternity clothes. I haven't really bought anything new. <coughs> I don't have a whole lot. Um, what I have been wearing is a few things I bought off of Amazon or from Walmart online. Um, and then I just bought a bunch of like LuLaRoe Cassie's and Julia's, two sizes bigger than I usually wear, and those have been working really great for work as maternity clothes. Um, and I'm trying to just buy minimal stuff, so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff to get rid of at the end of the pregnancy, but we'll see. Um, as the belly grows, I feel like I'm gonna need to get a few extra pieces. Sleep, I have not been sleeping. Um, and it's probably just because I'm sick. I have had coughing fits so, so bad, and then this steroid I'm on has everything just like, I'm off the planet. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been on prednisone, because it is awful. I, I called my OB after they prescribed it to make sure it was okay to take it, and they said to absolutely take it. I was breathing that badly, um, but man, I hate every side effect. I feel like Every single thing has me on like pins and needles and I feel like the whole world is going like this, like shaking all the time. So I'm anxious to be off of this. I have five more days and then I can be completely off of it and thank goodness. Um, so I did ask my doctor yesterday if there was anything I could take because the cough gets worse at night. Usually that's when it happens, right? And she actually said I could take NyQuil for a couple of nights to help with the sleep and the cough. Um, you know, obviously not something you use a lot when you're pregnant, but it's bad enough. She's like, you're okay to take NyQuil, just, you know, only take it when you absolutely need it. So I took it last night and 
it helped a little. I still was up quite a few times in the night to use the bathroom, but at least when I was actually asleep, I was sleeping pretty soundly. Um, so I haven't been sleeping, but it hasn't been anything to do with him or the pregnancy. It's just been because I am sick. <laughs> like, really sick. I can't, I don't think I've ever actually been this sick in my life. Um, today's day three, and I feel much, much better comparatively, but it's been rough. Best moment this week. Ultrasounds are always a good moment. Um, even when we have like a grumpy ultrasound tech. It's just good to see him and good to see he's healthy. He, when we had our um, anatomy scan, he had these little white cysts on his brain. The doctor told me what they were called. I can't remember. He said it was nothing to be concerned about. They usually clear up on their own. And in, in yesterday's ultrasound, they weren't there anymore. So they have cleared up. Um, so that was nice to see. And I just, like I said, it's just good to see him and see how he's growing. And, you know, it's always just reassuring to see that he's doing okay in there. So that, for me, was the best moment this week. Okay, symptoms. I haven't had any cravings at all. Um, actually, the past couple days I have had, like, the munchies really bad, but I hear that's from the prednisone, so that's not a pregnancy thing. Um, however, my breast tenderness has completely gone away. But they are growing a lot more the past couple weeks than they had to the point one of my bras, the underwire, snapped in half and stabbed me in the boob in the middle of a meeting. Um, so that bra is in the garbage. And I've been pretty much just wearing like sports bras. I haven't bought any maternity bras or anything yet. I'm waiting hopefully until after this baby comes because um, I'm trying to just be really cautious with what money I spend before he's here. I'd rather save that money for things we need once he's here. Um, and then, like two nights ago, I started like leaking, my boobs started <laughs> leaking. And I don't remember it happening this early with Cody, it was just a little bit of like clear fluid, of course, your milk doesn't come in this early, but I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Welcome to the third trimester, I broke my bra and my boobs are leaking, so. Um, there's been that and then my feet have been swelling a little bit if I'm on them for a very long time so like I was doing some showings the other day and then had an open house and I was on my feet for probably eight to ten hours some sitting in between but mostly on my feet and they're pretty swollen so I've noticed some swelling in my feet um, nothing unbearable my heartburn's actually gone down a little bit which has been great um, it's still there, but it's not as unbearable. So mostly it's just been like weird little things like leaky boobs, which I really didn't expect this early. <laughs> I really, really didn't. So um, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Like hopefully I don't need to buy pads. I might need to. I probably should go buy some just in case, huh? That would be like embarrassing. <coughs> <coughs> to do like an open house or showing and all of a sudden have like a wet spot on my shirt so gonna leave that as a list item for me to do this weekend go to the store get boot pads all right food cravings and food aversions we already just went over this i haven't really been craving anything this week haven't really had aversions to anything this week um I have been much more hungry, um, but also getting full much faster. So there's that, but no like big, oh my gosh, I need this right now, or ugh, get this out of my face. I can't stand to look at it. So gender, you know it's a boy. Labor signs, none, but I am having Braxton Hicks um, pretty consistently. I've been making sure to drink lots and lots and lots of water, which means I'm peeing all the time all the time. I literally am to the point where I avoid shopping at certain stores because I know their bathrooms are going to be gross. I'm not going to call anyone out on this video, but I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Um, so Braxton Hicks and that's it. Other than that, nothing, obviously. I mean, I'm only 28 weeks, so labor would be scary right now. Belly button in or out, it is in. I don't think it's ever gonna come out. 
uh, wedding rings on or off. They're on. Um, I'm extra puffy today. I'm told it's from the prednisone. Um, but towards the end of the night last night, I had to take them off because they were getting uncomfortable. I'll probably have to do that again today. Um, but I, I think it's just from the medication. So um, I'll know more about all of this next week when I am fully recovered and don't sound like this. You guys, I'm so sorry. What I miss. Um, I miss being able to go for like long walks without being winded. I get winded really easily, not just from being sick, just in general. My lungs are more squeezed and so I'm out of breath easier and it just, it's frustrating because I the weather is getting really beautiful and I want to be able to like go on long walks and I can but I just like have to take it slower than usual and take more breaks and all of that. So I guess I just miss that, like having my full lung capacity back. Any day now would be great. Uh, moody or happy? I've been real moody this week, um, but I've been sick. So um, it's probably just that. I also have been feeling really overwhelmed. I haven't given myself a day off in like two weeks. So I have off Monday. Um, and I'm just trying to take it kind of easy then. But I've been overwhelmed. And overwhelmed makes me a little more moody. So, yeah, moody. I don't even like admitting it, but it's true. Uh, milestones, I mean, third trimester, baby. We're here, we're in the final run, like, that's a huge milestone. So, really excited about third trimester, really excited that, like, we can start really nailing down some details and, um, it's still looking like a VBAC is possible, which is really exciting for me. And I'm just hoping, you know, he stays <coughs> small enough that they're comfortable doing the VBAC. Let me know in the comments below if you've had a VBAC and how big your baby was with the VBAC. She said anything over nine pounds will be iffy. Cody was nine pounds, one ounce. So I'm hoping that this little guy stays just below that. Um, but I think if they're estimating him right around nine pounds, even nine pounds a few ounces. I'm gonna tell him I still want to try for a VBAC because those estimated fetal weights are never accurate. And I would rather try than just have to have another C-section. I just hated, I hated my C-section experience. If you've had a C-section and you didn't hate it, like good for you, I just really, my memory of it is really awful and I would rather not go through that again. So I'm not throwing any shade at any C-section mamas. You're a mom, like, no matter how your baby gets here, is hard as hell. I actually personally think C-section, now I haven't done labor and delivery, but I think C-section is really, really hard. And for me, it was really hard to bond with Cody in the first couple of days, and I, I feel like I missed out on like a, a moment, which sounds weird, like, but whatever. So really hoping for the VBAC. I'm rambling. Blame it on the, the steroids, maybe? I don't know. Okay, and then the last thing is bump. I'm going to show you a bump shot, and then I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching my update. I hope you enjoyed this update. I hope you got a little laugh at my expense at the vision of me falling backwards on my butt with my feet in the air in front of clients. Um, the good news is they wrote an offer on that house and it got accepted, so maybe that's my new good luck move. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a whole lot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single update. And, you know, soon enough we're going to have a baby reveal, name reveal, all that coming. So make sure you don't miss any of that. And I will see you all in my next video. Stay tuned for the bump.